Hi hey everybody, in this video I wanted to quickly talk about the dev no file and also we're going to break this um, uh, argument here step by step. So you might have seen this argument next to a command in Linux. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to break it down in different parts so it sort of makes sense on what does this argument uh, actually mean. Alright, so let's get started. So if we start from the two greater than sign, um, so basically the two greater than sign is um, is appending the file instead of uh, overwriting it. So if there was only one greater than sign, then it would have overwritten the file um, because we've got two there. So it's gonna append the file. So it's not gonna remove the content of the file. It's just gonna add to the file. Now in this uh, scenario, the dev no file, it kind of, it, it really doesn't make much difference if you have a single or two greater than sign. Um, the reason is being um, the dev null is a special file, and what I mean by that is, is it's a, a pseudo device special file. Now I'm not going to go too much in detail about the pseudo device special files, but just know that the dev null, what it does is it accepts um, and it discards all the input. So anything that this command would have sent to dev null, it would have just accepted it and it would have just discarded it. Okay, so that's basically what a what a dev null file is. And uh, if you if you want to have a look, I can quickly just demonstrate. So, say for example, let's uh, um, let's do dev no. Okay, so as you can see, you've got some special um, uh, you've got some special permissions here, and that's basically the CRW, uh, which it's basically what the pseudo device file means. And as we as I said earlier, the pseudo device file is is a special file. You can read about it. I'll put a link about that in the description. You can go on and have a read about that further. Um, but let's get back to the command. So we know what a two greater than sign means. We know what a dev null means. Now, how about this two greater than and one means? Okay, so let's break, uh, let's break this down further into detail. Um, so basically what two greater than n one does is it merges the output from stream two with stream one. Okay, now if you're not familiar with the stream one and stream two, um, whenever you execute a program, the operating system always opens three files. Okay, so the first one is your standard input, second one is your standard output, and the third one is your standard error. Okay, and as we know, whenever a file is open, the operating system uh, is going to return a non-negative integer called file descriptor. All right, and the file descriptor for these files are zero, one, and two respectively. So that's what this two and, and, and one is here for. Um, and the end means basically whatever follows is a file descriptor, not a file name. So this one is basically telling that this is a file descriptor. It's not really a file name. All right, so in short, um, in short, if you use this command, what you're doing is you're actually telling the program not to shout while executing, okay? Not to throw heaps of error when you execute, okay? So if I was to give you an example of this command, and by the way, you can actually simplify this, uh, simplify this, find this syntax by just doing a, a slash dev null. All right, so what I, what I mean by that is, let me show you here. So if we um, say, for example, I wanted to find out all the files in my current uh, system with uh, which has a SUID bit set. Okay, so I can do that by running this command, find prem uh, and 4000 is the files that have a set UID bit set. So if I run this command without actually entering the dev null, uh, without actually redirecting the errors to dev null, so as you can see here, we didn't get many errors, but you can see I did get some errors that, you know, some files, my permissions were denied. Uh, in some up here, their directories were not found and etc. So we got some errors here, right? Now, like I said, there weren't many errors in this example, but say for example, we've got some other command and that was going to generate thousands of error and you're only gonna get two or three valid entries. So really you don't want to go through that thousand uh, entry and just find that one or two valid uh, results that you actually got. So in that case, what you can do is you can uh, redirect the output of that command. So, so redirect the error to the dev node, 
all right? So in that case, now if I execute the same command to find all the files with the set UID bit set, um, I can, you, you will see the difference here. So as you can see, what happened here is I told the, um, I told the command to send all the errors to devnull file. And as I just said, devnull will basically just, um, just uh, you know, it will grab the file, sorry, it will grab the, um, it will grab anything you send it to it, it will accept it, and it will just discard anything that, that was inputted to the dev new file. Um, so hopefully that kind of made sense, and uh, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next video.